Apoptosia is defined as delivery in which additional maneuvers are required to deliver the fetus after normal gentle traction has failed. It occurs when the anterior shoulder impacts against the metal symphysis following delivery of the head. It becomes obvious when the fetal head emerges and retracts against the perineum, commonly referred to as the turtle sign. It's important not to panic, not to apply fundal pressure and not to pull on the fetal neck. A is asked for assistance, mother, senior two assistants, a neonatal resuscitator and an anesthetist. L is lift the buttocks, commonly referred to as the McRoberts maneuver. Nurses and family members present at delivery can provide assistance for this maneuver. This procedure involves flexing and abducting the maternal hips, positioning the maternal thighs onto the maternal abdomen. It flattens the sacral promontory and results in cephalid rotation of the pubic symphysis. A is for anterior disimpaction of the shoulder. This is done by the suprapubic method which is done by the assistant and the vaginal method which is done by the person conducting the delivery. Suprapubic measure done by the assistant of the hand where she places hand suprapubically over the fetal anterior shoulder applying pressure in a cardiopulmonary steady style with a downward and lateral motion on the posterior aspect of the fetal shoulder. This maneuver should be attempted while continuing downward traction. Pressure should be applied from the side of the mother with the head of the baby of the assistant's hand moving in a downward and lateral motion of the posterior aspect of the fetal impacted shoulder. Initially the pressure can be continuous but if delivery is not accomplished a rocking motion is recommended to dislodge the shoulder from behind the pubic symphysis. The vaginal method is done by the physician. It is called the Rubin's 2 maneuver consists of inserting fingers of one hand vaginally behind the posterior aspect of the anterior shoulder of the fetus and rotating the shoulder towards the fetal chest thus adducting the fetal shoulders and reducing the shoulder diameter. R is for rotation of the posterior shoulder. It is called the Woods Corkscrew maneuver. The physician places two fingers on the anterior aspect of the fetal posterior shoulder applying gentle pressure away from the fetal chest. The Rubin 2 and Woods corkscrew maneuvers may be combined to increase the torque forces by using two fingers behind the fetal anterior shoulder and two fingers in front of the fetal posterior shoulder. Downward traction should be continued during these rotational maneuvers simulating the rotation of a screw being remote. M is for manual removal of the posterior arm. All the maneuvers I have described above used only digital manipulation. Here the arm is inserted. The removal of posterior arm involves the physician's hand in the vagina and locating the fetal arm which sometimes is displaced behind the fetus and must be nudged anteriorly. The physician's hand, wrist and forearm may need to enter the vagina necessitating an episiotomy or extension. The fetal elbow is then flexed and the forearm is delivered in a sweeping motion over the anterior chest wall of the fetus. Grasping and pulling directly on the fetal arm may fracture the humerus. Episiotomy. Episiotomy should be considered when shoulder dystocia is encountered. Although the primary problem is a bony impaction, episiotomy by itself will not release the impaction, but it will help in providing additional room for many of the maneuvers required. R is for rollover. Rolling the patient onto her hands and knees, known as the all fours or the Gaskin maneuver, is a safe, rapid, and effective technique for the reduction of shoulder dystocia. The true obstetric conjugate increases by as much as 10 millimeters. Once the patient is repositioned, the physician provides gentle downward traction to the deliver the posterior shoulder with the aid of gravity. The all force position is compatible with all intravaginal manipulations for shoulder dystocia, which can then be reattempted in this new position. For shoulder delivery is called alarmer. A is ask for help. L is lift the buttocks. A is for anterior disimpaction of the shoulder, the suprapubic done by the assistant and the vaginal done by the person conducting the delivery. R is for rotation of the posterior shoulder. M is for manual removal of the posterior arm. E, episiotomy if required. R is for rollover. Documentation is very important. Time of birth of the head needs to be documented. Which shoulder was impacted against the pubic symphysis, whether it was the right or the left? Who all were called for help? Which maneuvers were performed?
their order and the duration of the event, time of birth of the shoulders, that's the baby, condition of the neonate at birth, the APGARS, birth trauma and PH, condition of the mother, which includes PPH, tears, etc.